Hi, my name is Steve Mina, and I am a Mars One astronaut applicant. What is the Mars One mission? Let's watch this short video. Mars One will establish human settlement on Mars in 2023. Mars One has designed a mission that is much simpler than previous designs for Mars missions. The most significant simplification is that the crew is actually going to stay and live on Mars with the intention to remain there for the rest of their lives. 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 This is CNN Breaking News. Is Mars One? Keep Perigina Raddi. Mars. Humans on the Red Planet. and brave souls have registered online to go. I wouldn't I want to go to Mars. My name is Lauren Reeves and I'm going to go to Mars. Please send me to Mars. An engineer working in stand-up comedy. Please send me. I really want to go. I want to go to Mars. I love you guys. Exciting, isn't it? So Mars One, Mars One is a non-profit organization that uh, that will establish the, um, a permanent uh, human settlement on the planet Mars by the year 2024, uh, exactly. And uh, with existing technology we have here on Earth, we can send people to Mars, but we don't have the technology to send them back. That would be too much complicated, and not to mention the cost of the. That, that's why. So this settlement will be a one-way ticket. So the astronaut, once selected, the astronaut will train in an intense training that to learn the skills, how to live on Mars and how to make the journey safely as well. <coughs> this is the um, Mars One settlement, how it will look like to achieve this. Uh, the Mars One organization will meet some um, component suppliers and partners to see how they can make it possible with existing technology and uh, to meet uh, the deadline uh, the and to meet the budget as well. So, 
astronaut selection will be launched uh, worldwide that began last, uh, last year. So as you heard, like 200,000 people applied to go to Mars. So that was the most wanted job on Earth, I would say. And the, f the, f the first uh, round application is an online application. It's followed by three rounds until, uh, well, we are currently in the second round. I am in the second round. Well, so we are from the 200,000. We are now 1,058 and three in Ireland. We are only three in Ireland. And followed by the next two rounds, it will be uh, narrowed down to uh, six teams of four people. Those teams will train in a Mars simulation here on Earth. All the conditions will be reproduced. They will learn how to uh, repair and maintain the component of the settlement. They will be trained on medical emergency and procedures, and they will learn how to um, grow their own food. So, by the year 2018, a first demonstration mission will be launched to Mars. This is to provide proof of concept of the mission itself, and it's going to be followed by a communication satellite. This communication satellite will be sent to stationary orbit of Mars, and it, it, it will be sent back to Earth uh, information on, on a 24-7 basis. Uh, so uh, high-definition video, uh, it's going to send pictures and data from the surface of Mars. And then a rover will be sent to Mars as well. This rover, once on Mars, it's going to drive around to, found, to, to find the best location uh, for, for the future settlement. So the um, ideal uh, settlement would be not far away from the north, so the soul of Mars contains enough water, not far away from the equator, so um, that's, that would be solar efficient for the panel, solar panel to, to provide power. Um, once the, settle, w once, once the rover found the um, appropriate location, and it must be flat enough as well to, to set up the settlement, once this, um, once this location is found by the rover, um, it's, going, it's going to prepare, to, to prepare uh, this settlement, and meanwhile, a second satellite communication will be sent, but this time in a solar orbit, just a little behind the Earth, so that we'll provide a continuous communication between Mars and Earth, even if the Sun is between both planets. Well, basically, it's going to be like, I would say, like uh, Big Brother, but much more educated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the six cargo mission will be launched. Six cargo mission, two living units, two life support units system, and two supply units. And they will land in Mars, uh, on Mars um, by the year 2023 20, uh, in February. And to, to be sure they're going to land at the appropriate location, not far away from the future settlement, they're going to use the rover signal as a beacon. So they should land within 10 kilometers. <coughs> so once uh, the units are on Mars, the, that's going to be the job of the rover. Uh, the rover will pick them up, will put them together, and will, um, and will, activate, and will activate the settlement. So um, the settlement will begin to, and the rover will be able to connect to, to the life support units so they can recharge the battery much faster and do much more job. And those units will, be become to ex uh, will begin to extract the water from the surface of Mars. So part of this water will be stored and the other part will, will be used to produce uh, breathable air in, inside of the habitats uh, up to a pressure of 0.7 bar pressure so it makes life possible. And before the first crew leaves Earth, this, uh, this unit have produced or already 3,000 liters of water, 120 kilograms of oxygen would be ready, ready for, for the future astronauts. And the rover will also deposit some Martian soil above the habita habitat to, to shield uh, the radiation. So there we go, the first human, the first human, I hope I will be one of them. Uh, the first uh, crew will, would have been fully trained, so they are ready to, to go to Mars. So what is going to happen from Earth will be launched uh, at Earth orbit, all the components to assemble the space vehicle that, that's going to make the journey to Mars, so seven months to make the journey to Mars. And it's going to be assembled by um, an assembly crew will be there to assemble, so uh, it's going to be the um, habitat module, the two propellant stage, and the landing module, which is at the end. And <coughs> once, once, once done, so the, the, the would-be astronauts will be launched from Earth to the space, uh, to the Mars space uh, shuttle, and they will swap. They will swap with the um, assembly crew, so they will descend back to Earth. At this stage, like uh, at this stage, uh, Mars One says, at this stage you can give up at any time. You say, I don't want to do it. I finally, I don't want to do it. At this stage, you can give up. But once you're on board, that's the the point of non-return. Well, of course, I won't give up at this stage. Otherwise, I would be remembered as the biggest coward on Earth. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> so following by this, by, by this, so when everything is ready, when everything is ready, they check, the astronauts will check everything on the space shuttle, is everything is okay. Meanwhile, on Earth, it's gonna be tested, the settlement will be tested on, on Mars, it's fully operational, they have the green light, so the um, propellant, they, they are fired, and the space shuttle is going to Mars. Followed by a couple of weeks later, a cargo, uh, cargo ship with the component for the second crew already. There we go. Once approaching the planet Mars in orbi Mars orbit, the crew, after seven months journey, the crew will uh, move from the living habitat into the landing module. So 24 hours before, they are going to take with them some supply, some materials, some supply, and then uh, the module, the landing module, will detach from the uh, from the space uh, from the spaceship, wh which is too heavy to land on Mars, and this landing module is safe enough because it's exactly the same that sent all the material to Mars. It has been tested eight times, so we know it's safe enough to, to, uh, to safely land uh, the future astronaut on Mars. And once on the planet, once on the planet, uh, the human, they will experience gravity again because they, they were so long time in space, so because they saw the legs will be sore, so they will need up to 48 hours to recover. And once they recovered, they just gonna wear the Mars suit because we know the Mars atmosphere is not breathable. They are gonna be picked up by the rover until the settlement. And then once in the settlement, once in the settlement they are going to, to deploy all that couldn't be done by the rovers and they are going to prepare the quarters for uh, the future crew, the crew two is which is gonna come in. And um, the, um, second, the second module for the, for the crew will arrive on Mars, it's gonna be picked up by the rover and we will be added to the unit. And then basically the second quarter will be ready for the future astronauts and it's, it's gonna be used as a backup as well because uh, we don't know if something goes wrong. We have a second habitat as a backup. We know on the International Space Station, if everything goes wrong, humans still have the possibility to come back to Earth. That won't be possible on Mars. And then every two years, it's gonna be another settlement followed by, by another equipment. The, um, the colony will grow, 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 and grow. And this is the Mars One mission. This is the Mars One concept. If you want to know more about Mars One, uh, you can go to wwwmars onecom If you want to know more about me and about my application, follow my, my process, you can go to www.facebook.com forward slash steve.mina. You can check the page, you can like it if you want. At least you can say you have a friend going to space. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention.